everybody. If you haven't played the game Hammer Bees yet, it is available for both iOS and Android for just a dollar. Today we're going to take a pretty critical look at it and we're going to find what we like and also anything we think could be improved. And that's because these new developers don't have the luxury of getting beta testers very easily. So if you can play their game and give them some feedback on how to improve, it can really help them out. And that's what we're going to try to do today for Hammer Bees. So we're starting right here on the menu screen. So one thing we notice is hammer beads is kind of in a cute art style, and when we see the bee and the bear, they kind of look a little bit more serious, which gave us a false first impression of the game. I also thought that uh, the hammer bee, I would actually going to be literally hammering bees, so when I played the game, it kind of threw me off that that's not what I was doing. Alright, so level one is the tutorial level, and it basically says that the bear has stolen your honey and it adds a bee, it's your job to get it back. And I think it kind of over some uh, some of the obvious things. The skip button was also kind of hard to see because we were like getting kind of tired of the explanations and we wanted to move forward but we couldn't find it. And it didn't actually say how to actually fire the bee. We originally tried to fire by holding on or like dragging from the beehive down. But you actually had to select the bee and they're kind of hard to select which made it kind of hard. The high score system is also kind of confusing because it doesn't really seem how you could have done better at that level. I mean one bee to break the bricks, one bee to get the honey. Maybe you have to do it faster, but we tried doing that and it didn't really seem to work. And even if that were the case, you could only do it so fast. And the stars aren't really explained, so I think either you could get rid of the high score system completely, because this is kind of a just complete the level sort of game. So I think you could even get rid of the high score and that could work, or it needs to work more into the level and be explained a little bit more. I agree with that. And looking here at the level, I'd say the wood decking looks a little simple. I'd say you could add a little bit of weathering, a little bit more design into that aspect of the wood itself, at least in the background, which I kind of think that the background elements don't necessarily work that well. Like why is a bear outside on a, on a chair, which he looks like he's inside the house or outside on a deck. It's kind of hard to really figure out where the bear's setting actually is. It also looks like these flowers like should do something, but then they don't do anything. It's kind of confusing. I feel like the rug should do something. Like why is the rug there? And I mean, these are bees, so maybe if you hit a flower, the bee would kind of like just land on it and like fail to do anything else. Like he's trying to grab the, the pollen from it or something. Yeah, like I think I think this game could be made a lot more interactive and it would be a lot more fun. And or the bear, when you hit him with a bee, could like basically get up, grab the jar of honey and kind of like move around with it or become a moving obstacle for you to try to like stop you from getting the honey altogether. The other thing is I think all the levels you should fail like three to five times when you play it for the first time, which we didn't really have happen, like those two levels right there. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to fail at both of those. And I think that that's something that you really need to have happen um, is so that way it's a little bit more challenging and it's not like guaranteed that you're just going to win. And honestly, the first 10 to 15 levels were kind of like that. They were very simple. They weren't really challenging. Like level 26, I would say, is a little bit more challenging of a level. But the other problem with it is these planks right here, like the ones that you bounce off of, the ones you destroy, and then also the ones that uh, fall down, like the drawbridge, they all look the same. So it's really confusing as to what you're supposed to do with them because they all look the same. So I definitely think just change the graphics up on them a little bit, change the color, do something, just so that way they stand out and you can tell them apart. I'm doing very bad on this level. I think this level the is like a good like level three, four, five. Yeah, I agree with that. The uh, ricocheting off, it definitely makes it a little bit more challenging. And I think it really adds to the overall difficulty of the levels. And later on, it wouldn't surprise me if you should have to bounce off at least 12 of them perfectly with different ones moving in between to make it even harder. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, I failed quite a bit on this, and I still almost made the level complete. So there's too many bees sometimes as well. I know. I think it needs to be any like it needs to not only be a puzzle you have to look at and figure out how to how to solve, but it needs to be more challenging to just execute. Like the controls need to be harder or something. Like on Angry Birds, first you have to figure out how you have to hit, how you have to execute the level, and then just controlling the birds in that slingshot is really hard to do. And I think that's one thing that this game's definitely missing. I agree with that. And is there anything else that we wanted to cover? Um, I believe there's something on level 21 that we need to look at. So when you click on this spinning sprite, you can rearrange the bees, but certain ones appear as black squares, and always the first time they introduce the bee, all of them are black. And then slowly as you do the level over and over, more of them appear. And I don't think that's actually the way the game's designed. 
I'd say if it is, it feels like a glitch, and if it is a glitch, it's a really bad one, because it's your first impression. You get a new bee, bam, here's how you use it. Oh wait, you can't see it. And it's a really, like, it feels, it makes it feel like the game's only, like, half done. The one thing I also wanted to touch on was the game trailer. It doesn't actually explain the gameplay very well and can give you a false impression of what comes later on in this game. And we actually did play this game to level 50, and around level 47, the, the levels are really challenging and they're really hard to beat. And I feel if the game becomes that way all the way through, this game will be really fun and definitely worth the download. Another thing, I, there was two things I personally had trouble with, which is uh, the retry button. I did not realize you could click on the B in the corner and it would pull up the menu or the pause. Generally, I see a little pause button down there and that's how I know it's the pause one. And it doesn't have that, so it's kind of confusing. And it also is where the retry is. And normally there's like a little extra retry button that I'll see in case I realize halfway through. I know I'm going to fail a level, I just want to restart. So that was just a little bit confusing, and then also, um, say you do click, uh, you finish the level and you click next, or you click uh, whatever the other options are, it pulls it up twice. So you click next, and then it loads next again. So it's kind of confusing there. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. If you would like us to do a review of your game, please post it on kytus.com and place it in the beta section, and we will do a review for your game. Alright, thanks for watching.